ready to work? Yeah. I am. <laughs> She'll cut my hair in it, cuz. How do things look? Oh, I'm sore. Hey, stop breaking the room. The roll box is sticking out. Hey, what did Marco do to you? Watch the house. Oh no, wrong printer! Oh god. Let's try this again. Not only 
only restock old stuff, but to put in the new stuff that literally launched two hours ago. So uh, that is first on the agenda. And then after that, we are gonna go to another location for more work. Got my key in the door. I can't help thinking you'll be there. Oh, I keep falling back. Acting so damn insecure Don't get me wrong When I wake in the morning All of these feelings are gone Why are you here in the back of my mind? Maybe I just need somebody that I If there's space, you know how to do it right Maybe I don't Cause this oh, yeah? desire is only who's working at? Who's working at? Who's working at? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Who did it? Come. Come. You wanna play a game? You wanna play a game? Where's your bee? Where's the bee? Bee. Yeah, you got it. Good boy. Come here. Okay, where's hot dog? Where's hot dog? Hot dog. It's right there. Where's the hot dog? Oh. That's not a hot dog. That's bunny. Oh, who got a bunny? Good boy. I have so much happy mail. <laughs> I knew I was getting a few packages, so I kind of waited a couple of days, but I didn't know I was gonna be getting this many, so I'm very happy. It's gonna be a good week. Um, so yeah, let's just open some. First one is, I'm pretty sure this is my Patreon rewards from our good friends, Kitten Bun. By the way, Whitney, I know you're super busy and I don't know if you have time to ever watch these videos, but I want you to know that I really miss you and I hope you and Alex are doing well and Cubone and Psyduck. Give them some pets and some love for me. I should have opened it this way because it's so much cuter. I'm gonna be honest, I don't always check <laughs> the feed of the Patreon creators that I currently support because it's just like I have too much going on, but I know for a fact that no matter what Kitten Bun Supply Co. sends me for my happy mail, I'm gonna love it. And it's always a curated theme, which allows me to use it for a whole week spread in my fashion planner, and it looks good every single time. So I rely on this happy mail hardcore. Oh my gosh, okay. So the fact that I see like boba everywhere. <laughs> we even have this little happy mail sticker. Do you see this? Do you see this? We have date stickers. Boba popsicles. Oh, this is cute. This is super cute. Okay, like I immediately think, is that my bestie in a tessie? Gosh, okay, so we have this adorable sticker sheet. God, there's so much in this Happy Mail. These are actually all cut into stamp shapes, which is super cute. We have these, and we have this giant washi strip sample. Oh my God. Like if we had the ability to just make all the washi tape that we ever wanted, Whitney would have like 500 different designs because she is so good at making these. Oh, I can't wait to use these. I actually have been neglecting my planner for like a few days just because with Mother's Day and my family's birthdays, there's just been a lot going on. Plus I had a shop update, so I need to get back into doing the planner and this will definitely motivate me. So thank you, Kitten Bun. Next, this is actually international. This came from Singapore. The artist Trixie Lan, who I've never ordered from. Hee Tree. <laughs> My friend Hee was doing a Happy Mail Twitch stream. I suggest following her on Twitch. She doesn't stream regularly just yet, but she is a huge small business supporter. I love that I'm talking about Hee when this is like not even a package from her. There's a, there's a reason. Um, 
She does this giant Happy Mail streams because she supports like 20 people on Patreon and she supports people's shop updates consistently. Me included, thank you so much. Um, and so she was doing this Happy Mail stream where she was opening all of her packages and she was showing me what she got from Trixieland who is an artist that I love and have admired online for so long. And I was like, oh my god, I need to order that right now. So that is what this package is. and. Because it was international, I knew it was gonna take kind of long and I kind of forgot about it, but it arrived pretty fast as well. So I'm very excited. Okay, so I purchased three things and they look so cutely wrapped. So I got this Kitty Chef washi tape, stamp washi tape. So you can see little, there's little sushis and other dishes. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a, I can see it now, I'm gonna have a hard time using it because I feel like that's something that I'm just gonna have to ration and admire, but it's so cute. I have a little barista cat. <laughs> it's so cute. Also, I like her packaging. The, um, ooh, QR code on the back, that is smart. Oh my god. And then I got the matching vinyl sticker sheet for the Cat Cafe, which is, oh, I admire to make this type of cute. Oh, you get a cute little Moo Moo Cow sticker. Here's her business card. And this cute little print from Trix. Definitely worth the shipping cost and the patience. <laughs> Thanks for enabling me, he -E. Bring it up again. <laughs> okay, next is from Meg, who, let me just say, okay, I found this artist because another artist that I follow posted an artist and that artist shared this artist. <laughs> I just went down like a rabbit hole because in the beginning of May, everyone was posting all of their artwork and graphics for supporting AAPI Heritage Month, me included, and I found Meg. And Meg is a fellow Japarian artist, and I was like, <laughs> so I like went to their Etsy shop immediately, and they post just everything that I love. So there was just like Asian, LGBTQ, support, trans, Black Lives Matter, minority support, and just all sorts of really great apparel and accessories and stickers and stuff. And so as soon as I found their page, I went to the Etsy, I ordered some stuff, and I just checked because I, I knew I ordered a sweater, and this is obviously not a sweater, but I, I read the fine print, so I, I didn't have to message them. But yeah, so they actually just ship things as soon as they're ready, which is kind of cool. I, it must be expensive on their part having to ship so many things, but um, I do appreciate it because now I get to open the stickers that I ordered um, and then there will be a second package that has the sweater that I bought, which I'm really excited about. I don't know why I bought a sweater when it's getting so hot here in Hawaii, but I just feel like I, I own too many graphic tees, so I think a graphic sweater would be cool. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. I think the stickers that I got are pretty much the same design as the sweater anyway, so this will just, it'll, yeah, you'll see. But oh my god, Meg, I, I'm obsessed with you. So glad we connected, and I do hope that we can collaborate in the future, because that would be so dope. Oh my god, it's so cute. Obviously my big shop update that I had this past weekend, the rumors were very present. So this was a need and a must. And then it was so funny because Meg is also doing a collaboration with the, the Human Rights Campaign and there are rainbows with origami cranes and I was like, Meg, stop making things in my aesthetic. <laughs> Meg, you were doing awesome work and I aspire to have the type of like just confidence and voice and to use your creations like that, so. <laughs> I'm gonna save the best for last and to be honest I am going in order of when I receive them anyway so this is from my friend Lindsay single sploot and this is a funny story so hold on 
So Lindsay is a Corgi stationery shop who we connected on Instagram because she lives in Washington, but she's local. She's actually from Hawaii and somehow you could just tell. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to know. I only know her through Instagram, but you could just tell. Obviously there's Corgi in the room. My sister has a corgi, so my sister actually also followed Lindsay, and then I was like, hey, did you know she's from Hawaii? <laughs> but anyway, I love Lindsay stuff. She is like killing it, man. She does so many different product types, and I just admire her for having just like a consistent looking shop, and everything looks so clean, and I just, I love her stuff. She makes her own like, vellum wrapping what <gasps> cute your thank you card is so cute she said Chrissy thank you so much for your order and all the love and support you have given to me and my shop I appreciate you 3,000 <laughs> hope all the items are to your liking stay possum from Lindsay and Emmy and there's a 10% off thank you code that's so sweet I forget what I ordered because she had everything on sale <laughs> okay this one I had to get I think gold foil on black washi is really cool so this is her like her look yeah see funny this is her lucky corgi and then i think this is like a b grade mm, yeah this was like a an old sticky note design that she had i do like that it's lined though get out <laughs> She gave me a big peeker. <laughs> Thank you. And then I got this Hanami sticker sheet. And it's like cute little Sakura mochi snacky corgis. Oh my god, very cute. I'm so happy this is a sticker because that is so pretty. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. So happy. what we've all been waiting for or at least I have been waiting for <laughs> I need scissors ooh the lighting is coming in hard maybe I should move okay let's start let's start with what I'm grabbing oh my god Passion Planner's first ever journals designed for bullet journaling. I need to open this right now. So this is their journal. It came in multiple different paper patterns. So they had like grid, blank, lined, a dot, I'm pretty sure. And then it came in either this, what do they call it? Seaside blue? Seaside blue or black, I think. But my, I have it right here, how convenient. But my Passion Planner is black. So I got blue. Oh, it's the same size. How fun. And it's like this faux leather cover, which is nice. It's like, oh my God, passion platter, man. So they have this table of contents so you can refer. Oh, see, because all of the pages are numbered. Because if you're in the bullet journal world, normally you do that yourself if this is something that you like to do so you can refer back to certain pages but I got a dot grid oh dude I'm so happy this it feels so luxurious because if you didn't know um <clears throat> my current bullet journal that I don't use very often is just like a super cheapy <laughs> notebook oh from Amazon like the papers are so thin and I mean it, it it does what it needs to but I mean nice <coughs> the coffee nice stationery motivates me so I know it works for me and that was the perfect timing Okay, so they're sending me one more, actually. I purchased these two myself, along with the journal. So, This is so fun. 
Oh my god, this is so fun. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love this page. I saw it online. I love this page. Oh, and this one by the same artist. Hold on. This one with the faces. Oh my god. <laughs> Seeing everyone else's pages because we, we never got to see other people's work. <sighs> everyone else's is so nice. <laughs> Happy mail! Okay, let's start with this holographic package. <laughs> okay, this is from Lisby Cafe, which she was just an artist that showed up on my Instagram feed because she was doing an AAPI fundraiser pin, and I think she was donating majority, if not all, of the proceeds um, to fundraisers, and so I thought the design was beautiful, so I just ordered it right away after seeing it on my stories. Oh, it comes with a sticker as well. Can you focus camera? Look how beautiful. Next, I got a little letter from my friend Ian, who's off in Oregon, and this I found it in my PO box. Um, he was doing like a giveaway, but then I was like, hey, you wanna just do a sticker trade? <laughs> so, um, always down to do sticker trade with fellow artists. And he had just ordered on my website, so I threw in a bunch of extras and um, he shared it on his stories uh, yesterday. So I was like, I have yours, I just need to open it on camera for my blog. <gasps> yeah! Oh my god, his stickers are huge. Oh my god. Okay, so he gave me another one of his logos. I have a bunch of, he actually gave me Happy Mail before. Um, so the, oh, these are all new stickers. Oh, sick. Okay. What does it say? Takosu. Takosu. Oh my god. And I love that he gives me two because then I can give Johnny one. So we got these cute guys. If you didn't know, the Japanese word for octopus is taco. And so he's holding a taco. Very funny. And he also did a Daruma drop. So this is super dope. And these guys are really big. Like, look at my hand. Very big. And then this is a really cool finish. These like phoenixes, like holographic, red holographic foil phoenixes. Like that is so cool. I do have his stickers already. Some are on my laptop and some are on my water bottle. So these are gonna be really fun to find places for and either give to Johnny or to friends. So thanks Ian. These are really cool. Also the quality is really nice. I know he gets them printed, I think, from a local printer for him, so this is really cool. Thank you, Ian. Okay, next is from Meg, which I had the other unboxing for this sticker, and then I realized that it was only a partial delivery. This is the remaining item. <gasps> so cute. So it has a Sakura in the front pocket area, and then the back has that sticker design that I ordered. Way too hot to be wearing a sweatshirt right now in Hawaii. Um, but I look forward to wearing that eventually. <laughs> okay, and then the last package is another one from Paper and Craft Pantry, which if you watched my four month long vlog, I had like a very large chunk of that unboxing my first order from this company. Um, and then they were do, well, I mentioned that they were moving into a new space in that vlog. They had a Kickstarter for it and everything. So they were doing a big moving sale. I wish I lived in Texas or was there because they were doing like even bigger deals if you were in person and you could pick up. Anyway, I wanted to support. She was offering free shipping for anyone who wanted to online order. So I was like, hell yeah, I will help you with your moving sale. I again don't remember what I ordered. <laughs> oh, is that it? Okay, a little note. It says, for Christy, thank you so much for your thank you so much for your support and sweet note. Hope you love all your goodies. I added a notepad as a thank you, XO Meg. Okay, so I got one of their stickers. Oh, this is cool. So this is the notepad that they gave me. And I love it. This is a tasty 
Where is that? La 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 this adorable little package. I think this is washi tape. La 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 Wow. Oh, they're packaging for the washi. It's so cute. With a little peekaboo window. Oh, it's so cute. They package everything so nice. This was a free sticker that they gave me, but then I ordered like their actual sticker sheet that was in their shop. This is probably my favorite thing. <laughs> Very cute. And then I got another sun catcher sticker because I didn't put the any the other one anywhere yet because I have commitment issues for it. And then Okay, and then I got this vinyl sticker that says we are not Amazon. Very cute. And then okay, this was a greeting card that I looked at last time I ordered and I was like, I should just order the greeting card and frame it. So Good things are on the horizon, hold on to your butts. And then this, I saw this on their Instagram and I literally was like, I need to buy a bunch. And I did, which just says tired but happy. <laughs> Small business owners in a nutshell, <laughs> tired but happy. And then I got this really funny card um, that just says, <laughs> I don't know who it's for, but I thought it would be funny. I love everything from this store. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, Meg, for doing my package. Thank you, Pay, for being the coolest shop owner in Texas ever. Thank you. Thank you. maybe this could be interesting um it's something that i just have to do before every giant washi tape shipment that i receive um being that i still make my labels in house because i don't mind um so i don't know i've just been doing this for like the last maybe four hours and this is day two of me doing these two so yeah i'm wondering who i'm talking to huh can you say hi? Say hi. So first what I do is I print out all of these labels. Hey look, my nails match. Um, but basically I have it so 20 labels fit on one sheet. So for example, this is a new design that is coming in next week and I ordered 500 of them. <laughs> so that means I had to print 25 sheets. I have it all set up in Silhouette Studio. Sorry, they're doing construction. Then I stick it on the sticky mat. Of course, Yogi is right there. <laughs> Get it lined up. Load. And I've been cutting this for the last 20 sheets, so I'm just gonna repeat the job. Sometimes that repeat job button works and sometimes it doesn't. But that's gonna get cut in. After it cuts, so actually I have one here. After it cuts, you can see it's got its cut lines. Peel it off the mat. I usually peel it backwards like this so it doesn't curl. But I can't do that with one hand. Use my elbow. See, see, it's gonna curl if you do it like this. See, look, it curled. <laughs> anyway, do that. And then I peel off kind of like the back paper so that way all I have is the labels. So almost done with this one and then I have these labels which are going to be a Patreon exclusive washi tape. I'm gonna be so excited to get that out to everyone. But yeah that's what I do before a big washi shipment. Um, takes a long time because I only have one machine, but 
usually I do other stuff like in between, so. <laughs> Lisa Risa had a sale recently, that's why, and I was very excited to grab some of her new stuff. Oh. Oh. So cute. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so I know I purchased this. Oh my God, this rose gold foiling, and I think it's clear. I haven't even done something like this. This is beautiful and then oh look at these gold foiled bookmarks thank you lisa and it's so great because i have been getting back into the habit of reading in the mornings and um it's been really nice and so one of these will be for my book and then one of these i can actually use for um maybe a bullet journal or something like that Ooh, we have this black holographic jar sticker okay yeah this is both so this is patreon and my order so thank you lisa for bundling it and saving yourself on shipping uh i don't remember if i did that i think she offered a bundle code now that i'm thinking about it okay i don't i don't know what i do sometimes i just order and then this was one of her patreon rewards a couple months back and i loved it so much i think it was only this sheet so i got the four sheet set for planning because it's so good. And then we have this Mama Ocean sticker sheet, which matches these guys here. Oh. oh, I think this is just a gift from Lisa. That is so gorgeous. And I'm so excited in July when we start rearranging the house and moving rooms around and I get my own studio separate from shipping and inventory like my fun cute whatever i want to do studio like i'm gonna finally put all of the art prints that used to be on my walls back up because i haven't been putting them back up because i knew we were eventually going to be moving stuff around so i'm so excited to finally put stuff up i do still have i'm looking at them right now i have lisa's prints on this wall here um but i want to do a whole wall, like a whole wall. Oh my god, that's gonna be so fun. Oh, I, she's one of my favorite patrons, man. Like, I just love her stuff. And even though I'm not Okinawan, it's really cool to see just another Asian American artist that is using their skills to like, just bring light to our culture. Cause all this stuff is so beautiful. So thank you, Lisa. Welcome to Christy tries something new. Cooking. Nah. But honestly. My mom makes these Korean vegetable pancakes all the time and she does not use a pre-made batter mix, but I am. <laughs> because I tried to make it once a long time ago and it tasted nasty. Um, so yeah, let's try this. I had to Google the brand to find English instructions. That's how you know it's legit. <laughs> it's literally just pancake batter and water, equal parts, um, but you can adjust. I read online that it's supposed to be kind of watery, so that way it cooks faster. Uh, so I think I need to put more water. So this is supposed to be a scallion pancake. I have all these vegetables and none of them are that, but it should taste good. Cool. Eggplant, why not? Cool. <laughs> I don't know how much I'm supposed to make, to be quite honest. But do this. I feel like that's correct. 
feels correct. Just trusting my the Korean blood in my veins. We add it to the batter. Oh, is that a lot? Oh well. Use it all. Use it all. Don't waste. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this seems like a lot. Actually, uh, man, I wish I had kimchi right now. All right. So if you didn't know, um, I married the most amazing man because he cooks for me all the time, every day. I am very lucky to have him. Uh, not only does he love to cook, but he loves to clean. We love it. We're here for it. Um, but yeah, so I don't cook. Um, but if there's something pre-made like this, maybe I can. <laughs> While the pan heats up, I guess I'll make the dipping sauce. I think I have everything, but if not, we'll just wing them. JK, the pan's hot. Uh, yeah, let's make two. <gasps> sizzle, sizzle. Oh my god, is that half? I don't know. Oh god, just make one. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> okay, that looks, that looks pretty flat. Okay, let's leave it. Definitely did not have all the ingredients for the sauce. Yep. <laughs> but I think it's almost time to flip. I just gotta commit. I just gotta commit, right? Yeah! Nice. Oh, there's a bug in my sauce. I got rotisserie chicken. <laughs> Hot. I'm sweating, but it's good. Okay, let's try with the sauce. Yeah. With the chicken and good side. I did it. Good morning, it is Thursday, May 27th. Um, today we have a lot going on because tomorrow is Patreon early access to our mini shop update that coincides with us participating in KwaiCon this year or this summer, is it summer? This May. Um, so anyway, yeah, we are doing virtual KwaiCon this year and if you don't know what that is, that is Hawaii's biggest anime convention. Me and Johnny were patrons of this event for a long, long time. Maybe I'll insert clips of things. Um... Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, so I love KwaiCon. Um, I've always wanted to vend um, and I've never done it. So it was really cool of them to do a virtual marketplace this year. I know they did it last year as well in the height of COVID, um, but super stoked to be participating this year. So what I'm doing is I have a set discounted themed bundles that I'm going to be selling on their virtual marketplace but then I will be uploading the individual new products to my website and so today is kind of the big prep work day because I procrastinated it for a while. Um, it's not that I procrastinated, it's that I have a ton of other stuff that I had to do uh, earlier this week and so 
Patreon is going to be getting early access because they always do. Uh, not to the bundles though because those are specifically for the event, but they are going to get early access to the new releases that you can buy a la carte in my website. And so today I'm going to be assembling those bundles for QuaiCon so that way um, my inventory can be allocated properly and my numbers aren't off in case something does sell out and just making sure that my website is all prepared for everyone in the Gucci gang. So. <sighs> That was a lot. <laughs> so yeah, might as well get started. This weekend I had a mini shop update. Most of it was mainly like Pokemon stuff, stuff that was going to coincide with me partaking in virtual QuaiCon. I know that they did this last year, um, but I had never shopped or like partook in this so I didn't know how it was going to go. And this is not QuaiCon's fault, but the platform that they used is so not user friendly. <laughs> And from the vendor perspective, it is not, it is not good. <laughs> um, so I have this like super ugly Excel exported spreadsheet to go off of to fulfill orders. I feel really lucky because what I sold there were just bundled items and most people just ordered a single item or a single bundle. I have friends that, you know, they listed all of their products individually and for some reason they don't export it per order, they export it per item, which doesn't make sense because I have to go through and piece together what one person ordered. Um, so anyway. <laughs> They also have like a really weird way of making shipping labels, but fortunately I'm just gonna make it on my own with uh, ShipStation, which is what I use for my website. I just, <laughs> I do not like that platform. It's not Koikon's fault. This is probably, you know, one of the only ways that they thought of doing this kind of easily. Um, but I, I don't, I don't recommend that website. <laughs> for now, I'm just gonna fill these orders and um, I've already separated um, my website invoices because I allowed Patreon to save on shipping if they wanted to wait and I could bundle it with their June rewards. And so that was something that I offered to them. So a handful of them are put on the side because they wanted to save on costs and I'm cool with that. I'm so happy to do that for them. Um, but I do have a handful of orders that want to go out right away. So I'm gonna do that right now and then Continue working on pet portraits, we'll see. <laughs>
like that one. 